Hey, what's going on guys? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. I know it's been a while. Um, I got about a month's growth here. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just excited to uh, be back in my shave den and um, test out the uh, Mule R41 on about a month's growth. I think it's close to about a month, so that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. Hope all you guys in the community are doing well. My wife and I, we're doing great. Um, we're excited for our South America trip in about a month. We're gonna be going to the uh, Patagonia region of South America, which is the southern southern region of uh, Chile and Argentina. So we're just very excited about that. And uh, anyone in the comments who has ever been down to Patagonia in South America before, I would love to hear your experience and um, you know, and share, if you want to share with me the activities you did and everything, I would love to hear that. Um, we're just really excited to uh, go on this adventurous trip here in about a month. So yeah, uh, life is good. So, well, all right, let's uh, get into the shave here with the Mule R41. Look at that. Um, yeah, I think this is about almost a month for me. It's getting really, really crazy. Um, just been really busy focusing on a lot of stuff and I don't know I just fell out of my shaving routine so let's uh let's see what happens with that uh the Mule R41 is one of my favorite razors of all time so no doubt it's gonna do a wonderful job so um just god one of the best razors ever all right let's get into the software for today so um, I probably had this one for about a few months now. It's one of my new favorite scents in my den. Um, I'm just really in love with it and, uh, probably like on my fifth use of it and it's a really good one. So we got Murphy and McNeil granny whale and, uh, yeah, really cool eye catching label there, kind of foil label. And that is actually Grace O'Malley. Um, she was known as the pirate queen of Ireland. Uh, from the 1500s. I'll get more to that in a sec once I get into the details of the soap here, but yeah, really cool kind of holographic label. I guess it was made by uh, Razor Ray Designs. I think I have one more soap that he did. I gotta follow him on Instagram if I'm not already, but um, yeah, Murphy McNeil's been killing it on uh, posting on Instagram and everything. They just lowered the price of their soaps. It's like a super good deal. I think it almost like rivals Sterling with a uh, soap deal. So uh, yeah, that is the Granny Whale soap. And of course I got the matching aftershave here. Use it a few times, really cool. Love those Murphy McNeil bottles. Yeah, really cool stuff. Oh yeah, one more thing I noticed on the label here. Her tattoo is the uh, Murphy McNeil logo. So yeah, a lot of cool Attention to detail with the granny whale here. Gotta love a good soap label, huh? All right, Mula R41 and the handle, really cool looking handle. This is Shave It Shave Co. Uh, Voodoo. So this was kindly gifted to me by uh, my good friend, Glenn Sherman. His YouTube channel is The Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. For those of you who haven't seen him, he makes wonderful videos so i'll be sure to link to his videos in my description for those of you who want to go check them out but yeah i've always wanted a shave it shape coat razor and unfortunately they are no longer in business but man just look at these handles they really just make some of the coolest handles and it's a shame that it's a shame that you know they're now gone but yeah, I'm just really happy that Glenn was able to gift this one to me. This is the Shave It Shave Coat Voodoo. So thank you for that, Glenn. Yeah, Shave It Shave Coat. It also came with a Mula R41 head, one of my favorite razors of all time. It's so phenomenal and it just cuts through a lot of growth like butter. It is such a wonderful razor. Um, all right, so I got the Granny Whale whipped up here in my Pereira Shave Bowl. Yeah, this is a really good soap base. This is, this is the Ion soap base with Murphy McNeil. 
really good stuff. It's like beef tallow as well as duck fat. Really nice, nice and rich, creamy. Probably one of the best soap bases on the market. Um, I've used it quite a number of times and I've been nothing but impressed with it. So yeah, Murphy McNeil is really, really good stuff. Can't really see the brush, but Yaki brush, I got it for like $7 from China, free shipping. And Yaki brushes are great. I say it in all my videos, but man, what a bang for your buck. Um, they're just really good. Uh, I noticed a lot of international shavers, like a lot of uh, wet shavers in Europe and over in Asia, they use a lot of Yaki brushes. Not so much here in the States, I guess because of the availability, but man, I'm just so glad I started using Yaki's. Just affordable, perform great, Never, they don't really lose bristles for me, and man, what a steal. The prices on these are so good. All right, let's uh, get the face wet here. Hope everyone is doing well. It's been a while since I've come on here, but really glad to be back in my shave then. Um, what do you guys, uh, what soaps have you guys purchased as of recently? I think there's a lot coming out from like, um, I think Hags has a lot coming out. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> you know how it is nowadays. There's just a ton of stuff coming out. Um, I haven't really been buying a whole lot. I've really been just getting some soaps from fellow wet shavers, but as far as purchases go, um, den space is kind of getting tight. You know, obviously the there's the financial part of it is, you know. So I really haven't been buying too much. I've kind of been trying to enjoy what I have here, so. Look at that, this this brush has no backbone. It's not really a bad thing. Um, I don't know why even, I don't really know why backbone is that important anyway, but. All right, so since I have a lot of growth here, I'm just trying to work the, uh, the soap underneath the whiskers here. This brush feels good though. It plays easily, it's soft. Yeah, you can see it under getting underneath the hair here, so let me get a little bit more from the bowl. Alright, get it underneath. Nice pillowy. Fluffy lather here, gotta love it. All right, so I think I've scrubbed enough, so we're, now we're just gonna paint over. To get a nice layer here, so. Probably could have added a little more water in this, but it's fun to experiment with like adding less water, more water sometimes. You know, that's what this hobby is all about. The, the fun and the experimentation, you know. All right, let's tackle the mustache. Mustache is coming off too. We're shaving everything today. It's kind of fun just to grow a lot of hair, just to test out razor. I used to shave every day. Um, I don't really need to shave for work, but um, I like getting into a routine where I'm shaving every day just because it makes me feel like I got my, you know, <laughs> I got it together. But All right, look at that. All right. Nice lather here for a lot of growth. Okay, nice and thick. Again, probably could have used a tad more water, but we're 
going to see how this goes. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be eating this stuff here. Yeah, and one thing I noticed with the Mula R41, uh, whenever I use, whenever I do a cold water shave with it, it just doesn't work that well. Um, maybe that's common sense. I don't know. I see a lot of people doing cold water shaves though, but I always use hot water when I'm using the R41, and it makes a big difference in how it glides and everything. So, all right, shave it, shave coat, Voodoo Mula R41 head. Look at all that, all that hair in there. Isn't that insane? <laughs> Almost a month's growth just down like that. Unbelievable. Yeah, R41's nothing to be afraid of. Um, if you're not an experienced shaver, uh, there is kind of a learning curve to it. Like there's a ton of blade feel on this thing. But, um, yeah, if you just practice with it, and like I said, you use hot water or warm water to shave with it, and you get a good blade, <laughs> and it's an unbelievable razor. That's already, like, that feels like I did three passes on there. It, it's just absolutely amazing razor. All right, so let's talk about the scent on Granny Whale. So like I said, that is, uh, on the cover, that's Grace O'Malley. I'm not too much of a history buff, but she, according to the description on the Murphy and McNeil website, um, she was known as the Pirate Queen of Ireland. Uh, for a few decades back in the 1500s. Oh, oh boy. Tackle this area. And the name Granny Whale, I guess in like Gaelic or whatever the old Irish language is, that translates to bald grace. So the reason her nickname was bald grace was because her, I believe her father was a pirate on the Irish seas. And she wanted to join him on his seafaring expeditions, but her father did not let her on because her hair, her hair was too long, her red hair there. And I guess he thought it would like get caught in this, in the ropes on the ship or something like that. So. The story goes that she came back with her head shaved, and that's why she was nicknamed Bald Grace. And then and then for decades after she did that, she sailed the Irish seas. Now you can see all the hair, all the leftover hair all over here. It looks like a mess. Yeah, just trying to be careful here. Um, yeah, so for a few decades in the 1500s, she sailed the Irish seas fighting the English. And she was known as the Pirate Queen of Ireland. So really cool. And Murphy McNeil, 
All, most of their soaps have like an Irish theme to them. So I think this one is really creative. Um, love that label. Really cool. So yeah, Granny Whale, this soap is dedicated to Grace O'Malley. Bunch of left over here. I'll get in the next pass. And these scent notes have a lot to do with kind of her story and, um, you know, her, her ship back then and everything. And it, it's just a really good dedication to her. So. gonna do a against the grain pass and we're gonna be done I don't really feel a need to do oh, we got soap flying everywhere I don't really feel a need nowadays to do a uh, an across the grain pass I seem to get a plenty of good shade with with the grain and against the grain so Um, so this is a very creative, uh, release from Murphy and McNeil. I think it's been out for a couple of years. Um, but this is one of their original scents, which I'm a huge fan of original scents. There's some good dupes out there. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, like cologne dupes and everything, but I'm definitely a sucker for original scents. So this one naturally caught my eye. Um, and it's really awesome. So scent notes in this are gunpowder. Okay. Yeah, and in typical fashion, the the second lathering is not as thick. That's very normal, so we're going to go with that. So what do we got in granny whale? We got gunpowder, white leather, aged oak, and salty ocean aquatics. And um, this is one of my, this is now one of my favorite scents in my entire den. Um, nowadays, I try not to be a yes man all the time and say every scent is great, even though there are plenty of scents that I really enjoy, but um, this scent really impresses me. Um, they did a really good job on Granny Whale. So, you know, look, we got a, it's kind of a newer brush. So we got a brush bristle up in the, uh, up in the razor here, so. Did I mention the blade, Astra SP? Um, so gunpowder, white leather, aged oak, and salty ocean aquatics. So, um, so I would categorize this as a, a smoky aquatic scent. So that's a very unique combination. And that's, I think that's why this scent impresses me so much. I really haven't smelled anything like this in the uh, in the wet shading space, um, and it really doesn't. It's more of a subtle scent. Scent strength is not too high, um, but I think that kind of works with this scent. For some reason, I think with ocean type scents, that kind of seems to make sense. I kind of like the subtleness. comes to ocean sense so um so what i get from granny whale is a very natural salty ocean scent with uh with some smoke some slight smoke in there from the gunpowder uh, it's definitely not overly smoky which i like there's a lot of i think a lot of us has, have smelled those overly smoky scents uh, one that comes to mind for me is like Autumn Ash from Southern Witchcraft. It's just way over the top too smoky. Um, but the smoke note in this one is very, it's very gentle. It's blended very well with the uh, the sea salt, which is more of a natural sea salt scent. It's not like an ocean candle you would smell at Yankee Candle. It's a very, very nice salty ocean scent mixed with 
the gunpowder and then I think the leather and the oak kind of kind of round the whole thing out. I guess the oak is more of a round outer but um, yeah I definitely pick up the leather the the sea salt. and the gunpowder and it's just a really awesome scent nice and subtle not overpowering um, and it will transport you to like Grace, Grace O'Malley's ship on the Irish seas like with the oak and the sea salt and the the guns firing off you know fighting against the English it really does a great job of transporting you right to that scene really creative awesome scent um, I would honestly even say this is like almost a crowd pleaser. If you wore this to work, people would like it a lot. It's just a really nice, refreshing aquatic scent with some little bit of smokiness and leather in the background to give it that masculine kind of touch. Really, really awesome scent. And kind of sucks I'm getting around to this one so late. It's been out for a while, but man, this is a really awesome creation from Murphy McNeil, so. Yeah, they really killed it. And I think I've said this before, but there's no affiliation. I'm, I just say this as a fan of wet shaving, so. Okay, cross the grain on the mustache. Okay, let's get a little bit around the lip here. Yeah, so this is a good example of a scent that's creative, but also just works really well. There's a lot of creative scents out there right now where they're a little too wacky and it's not something you would actually want to wear, like to work. But th this one is creative and it just also just smells really good. So, um, wow, that was a darn good shave. Mowed down a month's growth, no cuts. I got lucky with that. <laughs> I was expecting at least one little weeper, but... It's always a good day when you don't get cut. I would say for me, like one out of every three shaves, or maybe even two, I get some weepers, but that's it's very normal for us in this hobby, so. Just a little bit here. Okay. Get the splash going here. Granny Whale splash. Really cool tops on the Murphy McNeil bottles. So when I first smelled the splash, I was like, oh, this smells a lot different than the soap because for some reason from the aftershave bottle, I almost get sort of like a pineapple thing. But for some reason, that's only when it's in the bottle. Once it's on my face for you know, like 10 minutes or whatever, after it breathes for a little bit, it turns into the kind of a similar scent that's in the soap, just a, just that smoky aquatic scent. Really good stuff. All right, let's get this going here. Yeah, again, Murphy McNeil, they've been killing it on Instagram, just posting a lot. Good price drop, so I'm definitely a fan of that. They have their customers' wallets in mind, which is always important, so. Uh, thank you guys over at Murphy McNeil if you ever watch this. Yeah. Awesome scent. Oh man, just a nice smoky aquatic, subtle, not overpowering, very, very creative scent. It'll take you right to the Irish seas in the 1500s on a pirate ship. Nice masculine ocean aquatic. Um, it's not cologne by the way. I'm sure you guys 
kind of knew that from my description, but just really natural sea scent gunpowder. Very awesome creative creation from Murphy McNeil. Okay, well, that was a phenomenal shave. I'm sure I'll see more in the car mirror later when I look, but very happy with that. And um, yeah, those of you who are still watching, thank you for your support and for subscribing and everything and just taking time out of your day to watch my shave. Um, so uh, I should be back soon. Hopefully it doesn't go on this long again. Um, you know, but again, there is a lot I'm focusing on right now. So things have been busy, but I'm going to try my best to uh, keep the content going on a regular basis. So anyways, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you again for your support and I will see you soon.